do you think that Tim is innocent of these accusations? Yes. Yes. It's heartbreaking to watch this go out there and and we know the truth. And we have the truth. And we've just been muffled. We have not been able to get anything we out. We have a story now about an American who used to be a government agent, but who quit his job to found Operation Underground Railroad. Tim Ballard has one mission to track down child traffickers. Crime that affects children as young as five years old. Timothy Ballard and his team at Operation Underground Railroad worked undercover in a world where innocence is stolen and hope seems a distant dream. There are those who dare to fight against the darkness. Tim and Catherine Ballard stood as beacons of light, venturing where few would dare to rescue the voiceless. Their journey, though not scripted for cinema, became the inspiration behind the film Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. The, the movie okay. makes the case that this is now an operation that's rivaling the drug trade in magnitude. So the film based on the life of Tim Ballard. And you in real life were really incredible. So yeah. I want to thank you on behalf of a lot of people. Fantastic job. Mm -hmm. But now these heroes face their most unexpected and harrowing battle yet. Not in the shadows of a trafficker's den but in the glaring spotlight of a courtroom. Tim Ballard reported sexual misconduct allegations. The suit described the couple's room. Some accusers who worked undercover assumed the roles of wives or girlfriends to Ballard and other operatives during missions. Once people are being trafficked, they're being enslaved. There's really only one way to get them out. You have to go into that black market and filtrate it because otherwise you're not gonna know what's happening. We look for people who have law enforcement, military skills, but even the more important skill is actors. You've got to be able to play the role that we need you to play, whatever that might be, to infiltrate. I'm an and I work with Tim Ballard in a few undercover operations. I worked on various missions with Tim Ballard specifically. I felt safe. Zero inappropriate behavior. Consider the case of one accuser. One of the former operator turned plaintiffs confessed to a colleague, I'm love with my boss, who is married. How did that happen? Why does everyone put Catherine on a freaking pedestal? She's not perfect. I'm not jealous. It's just annoying as shit. Is it a coincidence she sued Catherine for sexual assault? The lawsuit states that Catherine is promoting a false narrative against the alleged victims. I haven't met most of these women. One plaintiff who accused Tim of forcing her to take sexy pictures confessed. Just weeks before joining the lawsuit, another plaintiff wrote, in defense of Ballard's methods, I've got to stand up and tell the truth. Was it only after the success of Sound of Freedom that became victims? We had 25 families in the process. Adoption already takes so long and everything was stopped. How did these children hurt you? It makes me really sad. If you were being assaulted, why did you keep going back? Um, So it's interesting, Alex, we've seen this a lot already, and it still invokes in me different feelings. I want to tell the folks how I met you. By the way, Alex Quadron, uh, you are a director, you are a producer, and, and you are currently working on a project called Sound of Controversy. And this is how we met. So I meet Alex through Tim. Tim and Alex meet through a mutual friend. I say, Alex, I need you to help me out with something. I've got information. Can you put something together for me so that we can vet it to the public and let them know what's going on? What do you, how, what are your feelings about this? Yeah, well, uh, first and foremost, thank you so much for having me as your guest today, Troy. I really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, as you've said, uh, you know, this was a project that came to me like, uh, you know, I think it was a calling. Uh, there's projects that uh, I want to do and sometimes projects that I'm called to do. And I think this was a calling in certain way. Uh, I was doing literally, as you can see here in the board, uh, an investigational um, 
documentary about Sound of Freedom and about the unexpected success of Sound of Freedom and how it became a political bias when, for me, you know, as an international person, I, I ask the question to myself, why should the safety of children and the topic that uh, Sound of Freedom um, addresses became a political bias, right? So um, I decided to start this investigation and through a mutual friend, I, I met Tim. He told me after the interview uh, his story and what he's going through. Uh, and that's when I, I think he told you about me and and uh, you connected with me to do this project, which I mean, I, I found super interesting, to be honest, like it's very interesting, you know, just to to uh, give the people a chance to ask questions by themselves and to present Tim's side of the story, which he hasn't been able to do and the fundraiser that you want to put up. Right. Right. And I wanted a documentary that would aim at providing a platform for evidence or for just, you know, let's let's take a look at everything. And it wasn't to dismiss the seriousness of the allegations at all whatsoever. I did want to inform the public of the seriousness of of justice and letting things be played out in fairness. And I appreciate you for helping me with uh, this project. I and you mentioned the Gifts and Go, uh, which is a fundraiser that I have implemented to help because, uh, you know, the Ballards are being sued. The Ballard Family Defense Fund that is with Gifts and Go, and that is there to help with uh, the legal fees for the Ballard family. Because uh, as you'll find out in the documentary, which is only 35 minutes, and you guys got to go watch that. This is just a little snippet of, of something huge that needs to be brought to your awareness. Uh, but you can donate to the Ballard Family Defense Fund, and that goes directly to uh, the attorneys. It is there specifically to help with the legal expenses. Alex, thank you so much for everything that you've done to help me with this project. And now we just need to get it out there. Yeah, brother. I mean, it's definitely been um, a tough one to to do and to edit. And and again, as you mentioned, uh, you know, the purpose of this documentary is merely to, uh, you know, make people question themselves and question the narrative that it has been uh, established by the plaintiffs that are accusing Tim and his family. Absolutely. And real quick, is Sound of Controversy, is, that's a long, longer documentary that you have been working on. Is that completed? And when is that coming out? So, yeah, I mean, uh, I started doing this, you know, on my own, basically, as you can see, like I've made a, a, an entire research about um, these phenomena. And, um, you know, I started actually with Tim. He was the first person that that uh, gave me the interview as well as uh, the producers of the film. Uh, but as for right now, um, I actually deviated to to this. I mean, I, I, I see it as part of, you know, um, surrendering to what life puts me in front. And, uh, you know, it got me with you and it got me to to make this uh, this project, you know, so. I still wouldn't want to share too much about like the process on on how I'm doing on that because uh, there's still a long way to go. Uh, but definitely, you know, it's it's brought me to to this world, and and you know, um, I'm so thankful that you gave me the opportunity to to bring your vision to life. So, no, Alex, thank you for helping me with this project and just being a part of it. You are one of the most creative human beings I've met in a long time. Now what you need to do, folks, is go watch the 35-minute documentary entitled Unfounded Episode 1 Lie Detector. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Troy, for having me on your channel again. I'll be seeing you again soon. I bet you will. <laughs>